Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Last time, we fixed the gates. Yay. And, uh, this time... Lisa gonna fight off... King Babong. The devil are you doing here? Now, just to let you know, this guy can be extremely tricky if you know... Yeah, these... Just try and go after the small bombs first. And then this guy... Once you get him by himself, just go quickening on him. He's actually, uh... Kind of a little weak. If you don't do this, he will actually run away and heal himself and then come back and attack you. And He'll do that probably about like five or six times uh, before he'll actually let you kill him. So, yeah, this is probably the quickest way to kill him. And you should be able to kill him right off the bat with one quickening chain, if you're lucky. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to do this. We'll see, though. Meteor dropped on your head. Yay. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, good lord. PlayStation 2 emulation at its finest. <laughs> uh. And apparently he doesn't want to look at me while I'm freaking punching him, so... Go Bosh, punch him in the back! And this should kill him, hopefully. <laughs> well, we will see, though. Luminescence, that's the... Oh, yes, that did actually kill him. <laughs> Yay. I just made a friggin' optimal boss look like a pansy. Yay. Frickin' pansy. Oh, that is so much easier than the bosses I've been facing recently. Oh, good lord. I remember when he actually gave me trouble the first time I played this game. <laughs> you know, the first time I played this game, I actually really legitimately sucked at it. I mean, right now I still kind of suck at it, but... At least I know what in the hell I'm doing. Yay. So what do we get for our spoils? Nothing much. Alright. And a way forward. And yes, bubble doesn't even really matter at this point. But, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna have Pinello bubble us. Alright, so... Since we defeated him, two optional areas have come available for us to explore. And <laughs> when I say optional, I mean you really don't even need to go visit these areas in order to beat the game. Kind of like Nalbana Fortress, you know, or well, the outside portion of Nalbana Fortress. I mean, you get some really interesting looking enemies here. Meet up with them. But nothing too terrible. Especially if you have Pinello on your team. Uh, there are some hunts here, and also some rare treasure. And also the fabled Zodiac Sphere, if you actually haven't opened up any of the... of those, uh... I think I said in one episode there's six treasure chests. There's actually four treasure chests. 
We haven't opened up any of those. Uh, the Zodiac Spirit can be found in one of the two areas that we'll be exploring. Um, however, we won't, we won't be exploring that area for a while because that one is actually really legitimately tough. So. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Cannibalize. <laughs> what? And Terra. Why are you feeding on chocobos? Chocobos are nice, they give you rights to places. Alright. So, where exactly am I going? I completely ran off the wrong direction. Alright. Wait a second. Yeah, I went off the wrong direction. I need I wanted to go down here. There we go. Oh, this is the Necro of Nabudis. I don't want to be here yet. I thought this was the other place. I do get a little cutscene here as well, but eh. Might as well actually show it, since I accidentally triggered it. This is all that remains of Nabudis. Two years ago it was destroyed utterly by a mysterious force. The work of the Midlight Shard. This? In just two years? How? As the Dawn Shard brought down the Leviathan and her fleet, a fell mist spilled forth. It is like the same thing happened here. The Nethysite's mist has corrupted the life of this place. It is a necrohall overrun with beasts. We tread here on a fool's errand. We had best turn back. Is it revenge that you desire? Yes or no, not this way lies the capital. The road to Arcades leads east of Selika Wood, beyond the Fon Coast and Sita Uplands. And yes, if you can tell, not only the monsters here are freaking horrible, but there's tons of traps. So, yeah. I'd recommend you leave that area till like near end game. I mean, it's not post game strength, but it is. It's up there. It's kind of end game strength, and so yeah. All right, so we're not gonna go there quite yet. Goodbye to you, Alboth here. Even with Bubble, you kind of fell. <laughs> Alright. That is not what I wanted to show you. I should wait until Penelo catches up with her casting of Bubble and Cure and stuff. Thank you! All right, so now that we've gone where we not wanted to go, let's go where we actually want to go. Um. Yay! Somebody's gonna trigger those traps. Can I not be you? Pinello, did I, what did I just say? I said don't trigger the frickin' traps. Good lord. And Nebraeus Deadlands. Cool. This is actually a place where I like to do grinding a lot. It has 
some decent monsters. There's actually an area that has uh, infinite, mon or almost near infinite spawning monsters. And uh, if you have somebody like Pinello, or holy crap, they kicked my butt. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm not going to go here either, but I'm just showing this because, well, I can. Alright, guys. Actually, you know what? Not that. Come on, buddy. Alright, come on. I want to at least be able to... Is Pinello dead already? Pinello? I need you one more, not white magic. I need you one more blizzard. What do you have on you? What, what stuff do you have on you? Storm staff. Let's actually give you... I thought I had... Yes, glacial staff. Um, why are you curing yourself? I said... Why are you not doing Blizzara? Ow, holy crap, that freaking killed Pinello. Come on, all I need is one good Blizzara spell, and we're... I can't. Or whatever. Actually, I don't want Ash in my party. She's a... Uh, berserk. Alright, come on. One more Blizzard. There we go. Now we can go and cure ourselves. Let's just go ahead and cure up. I, I want to show you one more thing. Why do I want to show you this one more thing? Because there is actually a cutscene earlier on in the game uh, that, well, it was in a spot that we didn't know of or haven't seen yet, and it was actually right here. So, yeah, this is where that scene took place. It was right after the Leviathan blew up. This is where Ash and Vaughn and did stuff, so if you wanted to know where that scene took place, I, this is where. Um, I didn't sneak up on you or behind you, I came in front of you and then talked to you. Alright, cool. Anyway. There you go. Just remember this place for later. <laughs> I thought I was strong enough to get to this place, but or to do this place, but apparently not. Apparently not that much. Anyway, I don't know how long it has been. I'm going to go ahead and leave off the part here, guys. Next time we'll go off to the Fawn Coast and actually do a lot more progression. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and meet you up at the uh, gate last time in the sleek wood. This is Yu Tiang for this signing off saying keep things frosty.